Hello everyone, I'm Christy Arnett for PokerNews.com and welcome to the end of our coverage of the Season 11 World Poker Tour Grand Prix de Paris here at the Aviation Club de France. We had 228 players and in the end it came down to a heads up match between Theo Jorgensen who actually won this very event in Season 9 versus a very famous television producer who executive produced Weeds and co-produced the show Entourage, Matt Salzberg, but in the end Salzburg took it down. And of course, we have the winner interview right here on PokerNews.com, but I'm here to give you a look back at our incredible week here in Paris. So here are some of the highlights we published and a few that we didn't publish. Now, of course, you can't come to Paris without seeing the Eiffel Tower. It's the city's most famous landmark, and now I have to admit that when I first laid eyes on it, I actually screamed because it's such a magical sight. Well, we're here now, and of course, we got to snap some obligatory pictures in front of it. Hello, everyone. I'm Chris Darnett, and I am currently the meat of a sandwich in between Tony G and Daniel Cates, of course. Now, this is a very special interview because you have a special announcement. Is that right? Yeah, we've just uh, closed on a deal. Team Jungle Man's coming to town and is going to join uh, Tony Bet and Tony G. We're going to form a very powerful team together and take on the world and make this man a hundred million dollar man. That's our target. He's the five million dollar man to be a hundred million dollar man. As a professional poker player, how important is it for you to let loose sometimes? Um, it's uh, not necessarily important to do it in this way. But it's important uh, for uh Christiana with most of training for pokernews.com. Do you have an eye on a particular royal flush girl? Um, possibly. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. What is his favorite guilty pleasure? Good question. You know, he likes to steal pots when he plays poker. That's his biggest pleasure in life. Being a thief at the table. That's what he likes most. I can't even talk about it. It's too guilty. I'm guilty. I don't want to talk about it. Alright Mike, what did you think of the dinner? Dinner was great, um, small portions, but it was, all, it was, you obviously can't play, but I can, and I take everything. Luckily I dodged the two adder for him to chop, three adder, three adder from the chop, and i uh, just been slowly, what, what, what are you touching my chips for? <laughs> whoa, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> he wins one tournament around here and he thinks he's a big shot, yelling at the dealers. No, it's all right, not, it's all right. The, get him, get him. <laughs> get him, there he is. We're not. Here at the Aviation Club, it's all legit. No, it's good. Your chips are safe, Matt. Your chips right. are safe. <laughs> One last question. Now, you <laughs> perfect. Well, have you been to Paris before? <laughs> no, Christy. This is my first time in Paris. We're just gonna wrap that up. No, you have to keep that. No. Okay, um, ready? Yes, I have been to Paris before. <laughs> I actually won a tournament here in this very room. Okay. No, it's okay. He's gonna cut it. Right, ready? Get Marvin. He's right there. Get Marvin quick. Get him. Alright. We just got Marvin. High five. First guy to win two WPTs in a row, and I'm the first and guy. a great singer, by the way. And I'm the that first guy awesome. to defend his WPT title twice in a row. Okay, sorry, Outro. Ready? Okay. We're, we've been going this whole time. This is all going on nope. the internet. It nope, better. it's not.
That. Christine, well, thank you so much. Christine is just fulfilled with broken <laughs> promises. Well, that's it. You're doing great. <laughs> As you can see, we had a great time here in Paris. But tomorrow we are catching a flight because we are going straight to WPT Malta. So keep your browsers locked on PokerNews.com for everything here from the World Poker Tour.